Yo guys, it's JJ here and today I'm going to be walking you guys through how to make a nice Young and Nudie type beat because of course my previous video did quite well for Young and Nudie so I thought, you know what, let me give it a second shot, let me deliver to the people so let's just get into it. First things first, we got ourselves an instance of purity and I'm using a slow synth called the Pro Pack 2 and as you guys can see right, this is the pattern I've got laid down but let me break it down for you. First things first, we start off with these nice little notes, it's essentially a minor chord as you can see but just taking away the G. Then I played it with a few notes from above, made a lot of use from these notes in tension, as you can see from here, here and here. All of these notes apart from that back and forth tension that will feel. So that's why I went for that. To be honest with you, it was very, very straightforward. I can't, I essentially just copy and pasted this over, but then I just rearranged a few of the notes. So taking this from the E up to the B and yeah, it was really that simple. So this is what the pattern sounds like. As for effects, the first thing I did was I got myself a nice little shaper box, you know, creating a little bit of movement with the side chain. Then I added this vintage chorus on with these presets. I had some Valhalla vintage rib, you know, give it a bit of ambience for the young nudie feel. And then the parametric EQ, cutting off frequencies I was not a fan of. Next thing I did was grab this preset from Expand 2 and it's called Ducky from the Soft Leads. And to be honest, I think this preset is actually used in one of young nudie's tracks from his recent EA Monster EP and I think it was from KitKat if I'm not wrong but this is all I've laid down for the pattern very simple counter melody just here to add a bit of air candy and to be honest it's that simple don't overthink it keeping it simple but nice and ambient and dark and you've got yourself some young nudie vibes but this is what the melody sounds like And there you have it. All I did for the effects was add a basic EQ. Again, cutting off frequencies I was not a fan of, as you could see. And then some Valhalla Vintage Verb to further add to the ambience of the sound. And then last thing I did was just stereo separate it around 36% to widen it within the mix. From that point, what I did was grab the first two melodies I've just shown you, reverse them, and then also pitched it up one semitone, taking it from the E minor scale up to an F minor. And as you can see, the same thing here, reversed, and then taken up from the E to the F minor. And now that we're on the F minor scale, I got myself a preset, which is the default one when you open Expand 2, and I lay down the simple pattern again in F minor. Very straightforward. Again, it's just more of like a little accent to add to the whole vibe. Little repeating two bar, as you can see, just using those from the octave up and below. It's really that straightforward. So I've got these effects for the preset. And the effects are obviously a bit of an EQ. Some further reverb, but very, very heavy, as you can see. And then I stereo separated it 100%, just to really widen this in the mix. Add like this nice little dark undertone. And now, without further ado, this is what the melody sounds like for the Young New D vibe. And there you have it, sounding super dope, super vibey, gives that young nudie vibe a lot. I really, really like this melody. You got that darkness, the ambience of it. Again, perfect. So next up, we got the drums. First thing I did was lay down a simple clap pattern, as you could see. So I don't think I need to play it. You know what it sounds like. And now onto the hi-hat pattern. Very simple for young nudie. It's about that kind of like Pierre kind of vibe. So all I really did was add this nice little triplet roll here. And then I copy and pasted it over another bar and then another bar. And then for the last four bar, I just had like a back-to-back -back roll. And then I copied that for the whole eight bar. So without further ado, this is what the clap and the hi-hat sound like together. And there you have it. Next up, we got the kick and eight away pattern. As you can see, first of all, for the 808, very simple pattern again, because Young Nudie is about the repetitive vibe, keeping it straightforward. So all I did really was follow the root notes for every single two bar. Up until when we reached the fresh four bar, I added a few extra notes here, as you can see. One here and one here, just to add for the bounce. And then at the end of the eight bar, just use these two notes here that are part of the notes in tension, that add a bit more of a dark vibe and a bit of a switch up. But last but not least, all I did was click control A and then use my right scroller wheel on my mouse to max the velocities out. And I did the same thing for the kick, as you can see here, which is essentially the same pattern, but just kept at the root note C, copy and paste it over. The reason I maxed out the velocities of my kick at 808 is because it makes those two drums sound much harder in the mix. It punches through much clearer and it adds a nice hip hop vibe to it. 
that's what you have with all your beats i really recommend doing it it just makes that extra difference so take my word but with all that being said this is what the 808 and kick sound like There we have it. And last but not least, before I round out this video, I got two perks to show you. First of all, we got ourselves the little uh, perk that you hear that is ironically Young Nudie himself. And this is what it sounds like. Uh. That perk, all I do is place it at the start of every two bar, as you can see. And then on top of that, I grab myself this nice little perk again. It's from like the PR kit that I have. A perk and I play them together which adds this nice little bounce to the whole vibe and really really gives you that young nudie sound so without further ado this is what the whole beat sounds like together And guys, there you have it, the full beat done. But before I round up this video, I know you guys like it when I actually end up walking through the structure of my thing. So you know what? I'll do that for you. First of all, looking at the first eight bar, we got ourselves a nice little intro going here where I've pretty much got everything playing. But the key thing I've done here to give it a bit of variation is I played with the tempo. And the way I did this was I right click on my thing, click create automation clip. And what will end up happening is your tempo will come up here in a straight line. All I did was grab the last one and take it from up here all the way down to here and then mess with the gradients and with that being said you'll hear this nice little cool effect which i'll demonstrate right now there you have it sounds super dope so i really recommend doing that you know, adds a bit of variation to the beat and it also gives it a nice little vibe for when artists hear it. Then after the intro, we got ourselves obviously the chorus, which is two eight bars back to back. All the drums are playing, but all I did was switch it up with a bit of a melody switch on the second part. Then after that, we got ourselves the verse, which is literally stripping away majority of the drums, leaving the clap and hi-hat, the main melody and adding the kick a bit later. Then coming into the main section, I introduced the second part of the melody, as well as all of these drums coming back in. And then for the pre-hook, which is the last part of the verse, I have the melody, the second component of the melody, and the 8 ways playing, but I add another effect on top of this, which is a fruity love filter on the master channel, and as you can see, the preset that I actually went to use is called the Simple Triangle Low Pass LFO, and then all I did was create an automation clip down here for it, and this is what it sounds like. And there you have it. Then once my pre-hook was completed, it came back to the chorus again, then back into the verse, once again, copy and paste it, and then finally back into the chorus. And that is the full beat, guys. So I really hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope you guys enjoy as well the beat breakdown I do in the end, you know, giving you the arrangement of the beat. Or if you'd prefer, I could even make a video on it separately. So please let me know in the comments. I'd highly appreciate it. And of course, thanks for watching. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe down below. You know, on the road for 1,000 subs, really going for 2023. So again, thanks for watching and take it easy. Peace.